We are at Progressive Field where Indians fans are training in their baseball caps for a different kind of cap. And it is all for the first annual snow days. And it's definitely not business as usual. Nothing says summer here in Northeast Ohio quite like a Cleveland Indians game. But what happens to the stadium when the players hang up their jerseys for the season and these blue skies turn gray? Well, usually nothing. But this year is much different as the Indians open progressive field to the public. Snow Days is going to be what we think is the uh, premier outdoor activity in downtown Cleveland. In October, when the Snow Days events were first announced, the Vice President of Public Relations for the Cleveland Indians, Bob DiBiasio, described the all-inclusive winter wonderland. Even if it's not snowing in Cleveland, there will still be snow in Progressive Field during Snow Days festivities, since 150 tons are being made each day. Bob says Snow Days events are geared towards fans of all ages, like a snow tubing hill called the Batterhorn, running from the top of the bleachers to second base, going up to only 19 feet high for the younger kids, and the rest will go up to 60 feet 6 inches. Even the mascots are getting in on the fun. I think we should get her going down the Batterhorn. What do you think? Yes? No? <laughs> She's bashful. <laughs> There is also an ice skating rink going around the outfield, a small kids ice skating rink in left field, a walking trail and the home run porch where visitors can take a break and grab a snack. Nothing like this has ever happened before in our town and uh, we just think fans are really going to embrace it and, and have some fun again with the snow tubing and the ice rink. The Blum family came here to do just that. They've been season ticket holders since the stadium opened, so they're used to the way it looks in the summer. But 13-year-old Gabriel says it's much different in the winter. It, look, it looks really cool. I mean, I like it. I like to ice skate, too. He and his sister Rachel both say they loved sliding down the Batterhorn. Well, it's fast, and it's so much different than the Indians games. It was pretty fast, and we got to spin around. And stuff. Their mom, Suzanne, says she just came along for the ride. It's great. We're worried how the grass will survive <laughs> for this season, but it looks beautiful, and I hope that people enjoy it. Not to worry, though. Bob says all of these festivities won't have an impact on the field when it's time for the Indians to play this spring. We're... Um, Going to make sure we stay off the infield is uh, more importantly, and that the outfield is under snow anyway <laughs> throughout the winter time. According to Bob, this premier snow days event is actually pretty groundbreaking because it is a first for ballparks across the country. We understand in our research that there's a minor league ballpark that has done some snow tubing, but no ice skating whatsoever. There are a few minor league parks and some major league parks that have opened up to ice skating, those who have done the hockey games outdoors that has become the new you know, craze. Uh, but nobody has done both, so we, uh, we're being rather innovative. The idea to use the facility during downtime has been developing over the past three years. And after a lot of planning, the Indians organization has decided it's a good time to invest their own money into creating the event. It's our nickel. Uh, we're hoping to make some money with it. Um, in the first year, we're not so sure. It all depends on how many people buy the uh, what we think are a very affordable family uh, ticket, uh, $10, to come in and skate. Unlimited, includes rental skates. Uh, $20 for two hours on the snow tubing. $25 for a combination of the ice skating and the snow tubing. So we think it's truly family affordable. A number of local businesses have already signed on to rent the facility for a few hours at a time, changing the face of the annual holiday party, just as the Indians are transforming the way we view Progressive Field. While it's not business as usual, it's going to become business as usual because, again, we need to maximize and optimize this facility. It just uh, makes all the sense in the world providing the people of Northeast Ohio something fun to do and again we think people are going to embrace it uh, very warmly or coldly actually. Snow days officially got started the day after Thanksgiving and it runs through January 2nd whether it's snowing in Northeast Ohio or not. For more information you could check out our blog at neotropolis.org. In Progressive Field I'm Jennifer Boris for Western Reserve PBS.